I welcome you all to my channel and you're watching Innovative Amazing Science with Sanana. I believe that you all are doing great, so am I. So today's experiment is going to be a real magical one. Yes, you heard it right, a real magical one because in today's experiment, I'm going to use a product which is actually a waste. So we all know that Diwali has just got over and before we go out to the market to buy the lights for Diwali festival, it's a tendency we just look out for the old lights and then whatever uh, lights or whichever lights are working, we just keep it aside and we go to the market to buy the new ones. So it happened with me as well and then when I was searching for the lights and all, I found this bulb which was not working at all. But I didn't feel like to throw it or discard it because it was a very cute little bulb. But I was thinking what can be done uh, to preserve this bulb or what can be done so that my uh, bulb glows. Then thinking on that, an idea struck to my mind and I was so happy. I applied a little bit science and a little bit magic and today I'm here to show you that experience and it was quite a fun experience and a magical one too. Are you ready to see how this uh, bulb glows? Let's get started. So here you can see that I'm holding a box and it is nothing but it's a bulb inside. And uh, let's see what is the power supply. So the power supply, what it writes here is 85 volt to 260 volt. So let me just open this and let's see. Whenever we buy uh, such items from the uh, market or whatever electrical things we buy, we require a power supply so that it glows. So this bulb would also require a power supply to glow. But today's experiment is like... Uh, I'm going to glow this bulb without the power supply. Isn't that a magic? So let's just observe it carefully. I'm going to hold like this and after a while it's going to glow. Just observe it very carefully. Can you see how it is glowing? Okay, so I'll just switch off the lights of my room and I'll show you more clearly. So just give me some time. So here you can see and how the bulb is glowing actually, how beautiful it is. Isn't that a magic? But you must be wondering how without the power supply this bulb is glowing. So to understand it, let's observe this in details. So just before few seconds, you had seen that I had switched off the lights of my room just to show you how this bulb was glowing clearly. And now I have just switched on the lights of my room and still my bulb is glowing. Can you see it properly? But we all know that without the power supply, the bulb doesn't glow. But how this magic is happening? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You must be thinking that uh, maybe I'm supplying some electricity. No, see, can you see? I have not supplied anything to this bulb but still the bulb was glowing and now again I'll show you how this bulb is glowing. Can you see this? It's again glowing. But what is this magic all about? So let's understand what this magic is all about. So let's understand this experiment and for this experiment the things required are this is the batteries with the battery holder, this is a multicolored LED and this box contains the bulb which I had shown you in the starting and this is just a damaged bulb. I had used this for some other functions and uh, somehow after a while it got damaged. So I thought I'll just show you this experiment which has nothing. Can you see? Inside it's nothing. This only wires. Okay. So let's start with this experiment. This so now let's understand. So here if you observe, you can see two points, okay? And these two points are connected to the two wires which is inside. You can see inside it is connected. And this battery, uh, you can see there are two wires again over here. One is the positive end and one is the negative end. Uh, you all know that. And uh, here if I see in the wires, this yellow color is the positive 
end this yellow wire actually is connected to the positive end and this red one is connected to the negative end okay and we have to test to this LED so this LED bulb also has got a positive and a negative but we have to find it out how or which end has the positive or negative we'll just try to fix this both wires and check whether the LED is glowing or not okay so I just connected this yellow one to this smaller wire of this LED and this one to this uh, red one to this uh, longer wire of this LED and it is glowing and if I just do the opposite way just see I'm trying to connect it is not glowing that means this smaller end of this LED is the positive end and this orange one is the negative end see it is glowing then let's understand our next step so now let's do the connection okay so i'll take this led and to the smaller end i'll just connect this yellow one which is the positive end okay and just twist it be careful a little bit Okay, and next to this, uh, okay, to this longer one, I'm going to take this wire from this bulb and I'm going to connect it and twist it. So here you can see that I've connected both the wires, one from this bulb and one from this battery I've connected. Okay. And next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to connect these two wires together and twist it a bit. Okay. So here you can see that I have done all the connections. Let us just test. So just try to observe. This is the positive end of the battery, the yellow one. It is connected to the positive end of the LED bulb. And the negative end of the LED bulb is connected to this wire of the bulb which comes out here. And here the other wire of this bulb, okay, it is connected to the negative wire of the batteries or the negative end it is connected to the negative end so here the all the wires are connected but here if you observe carefully the connection is not uh, done because it is not connected so how we are going to do this let's observe i don't have anything right now so i'll just use this uh, fingering of mine and try to see whether this LED is glowing or not. I'll just try to connect. Okay. Can you see? I'll show you once again. Wait. Uh, I'll just hold it properly. I'll show you once again. Can you see how the LED is glowing? Okay. I'll show you the back side. What I'm doing exactly. So I'm trying to make this connection. I'm just trying to touch so that the circuit is complete can you see wait i'll just show you the led from this side it's a little difficult for me to hold it but i'll show you see can you see how once i remove this you can see that the led is not glowing again i'll put this you can see it is glowing so now did you see the magic you can also try this so now let's just assemble all our things. I'll just put this battery inside a bit careful because we should not uh, destroy the design also. So here I'll just, uh, there's a hole at the center. I'll just try to put my LED and then I'll close it properly. Okay. And then I'll just fix this I'll just cover this okay so I have assembled all the parts of this bulb and my bulb is ready so let me just uh, 
show you once again and then you can see the bulb is still glowing but who can tell me the science behind this magic and why did my finger ring help this bulb to glow can there be any other things or substances which will help this bulb to glow put your comments if you enjoyed this activity do give it a like and if you want to share any of your experiences with everyone to put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos i can share your experience with everyone till then take care bye bye